Hello, Sillaholics, and welcome to Sillaholics Anonymous. I am Shakia, the professor, and if this is your first time here, I hope you enjoyed the contents of this video and will choose to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell set to all so that you're notified whenever I release new content. If you are a subscri subscriber, thank you for the support and welcome back. If you are a sub subscriber who uses this studio for like just regular designing or with a cameo, uh, this is going to be a little bit different. Not so much for you guys. Uh, if, um, if you don't know, I recently got the Roland BN20. Um, and with the way that works and to be able to cut it, the software for that VersaWorks is more of just like a rip software and to print from, but you can't set your cut contour lines in it. You have to do it in a program that will allow you to set spot colors such as Illustrator, Corel, Draw, Affinity, um, I believe Inkscape as well, but I'm not quite sure about that one. So what I'm going to do is show you how I would, how I design from Silhouette Studio and then take it over to Illustrator. Do I know how to use Illustrator? Yes, but because my whole business is built around Silhouette Studio, I tend to uh, go to that one more so than anything. So for my users who want to be able to take it from Silhouette Studio and then save it properly to open in VersaWorks, I want to focus in this video on text. Text can sometimes come in kind of wonky if you save it as a excuse me, a PDF from Silhouette Studio. So I'm going to zoom in right here. And as you can see, like where this N and this O is, it's not curving the way it should. It has this like weird um, shape to it as well. Now, see, this one wasn't so bad, although it's a little bit of a weird shape on the O. But if you take a look at that P and that G and how that is set up, it comes in kind of weird. Now I'm going to go over to this one and oh, actually I've already set the co contours for this, but you can see that you don't see that with this one. And that's because from Silhouette Studio, we save it as an SVG when you're dealing with vectorized um, images. So if it is text, if it is um, something that you have traced and you have filled with color, you want to save that as an SVG rather than a PDF. Now, from AI, you're going to save it as a PDF to communicate with VersaWorks, but from Silhouette Studio, you're going to save it as an SVG, which means you do need Business Edition in order to do that. So if you don't have Business Edition, go ahead, check out the link in the description of this video and uh, click on that link to get business edition. It is an affiliate link. I will receive a small commission with no additional cost to you. All right, so I'm going to show you another example. So here you can really see how bad that comes in, but then here it looks regular. So I'm going to show you how to do that from Silhouette Studio. All right, so what I like to do to be able to make it easy to set these you're going to copy and paste in front. So I'm just gonna select it all. I have a lot of things here. If you just have the one, you'll just select that one element. So you're gonna right click and choose copy. Then you're gonna right click and paste it in front. It's gonna look like nothing's happened. It's gonna all look the same. You're then going to go over to your fill, either on this side or the palette on the right hand side. And you're going to fill it with, you know, a color. It doesn't really matter what color it is. I typically tend to make it the same color that I have set as my cut contour in um, Adobe Illustrator. So now I'm going, there's a lot of small pieces mixed in here. So we're going to hit weld. So you can click it up here or just hover your mouse over one of the elements, right click and choose weld. Once you weld that together, you're going to come over to File, Save As, Save to Hard Drive, and then um, click where it says Save as Type. You're going to make that an SVG. 
This is for text only or just whenever you create like a vector file because sometimes some of the shapes can come in kind of wonky too. You saw that drip. That's not text. That's just a shape and it can still come in wonky. So anything that you um, do in the system where you are creating a vectorized image of it, you want to go ahead and just save it as an SVG versus a PDF. So you're going to go SVG and I'm going to go SVG vibes only AI cut contour. Well, actually I can evolve AI. I can just put cut contour because I can use that in any program. And we're going to hit save. So I'm going to go ahead and do the one that has my name on it also. So we're here and I'm just going to again select it. We're going to copy. We're going to paste in front, fill that in with color. And I've actually already like, so this one, there are no parts that are separated. It's just one line of text on each one. I don't have to weld it or anything like that because I don't have layered pieces. So now we're going to go file, save as, save to hard drive, click where it says save type, save as type SVG. And we're going to put Shakia Cut Contour. And then OK. So now that's saved. We're now going to go back over to Illustrator. And I'm going to exit out of this one. And let's exit out of this one because those are the good ones. And no, so I'm going to go file, open, and then we're going to search for that file. So Shakia Contour, let's just start there, open, and see, you're not, you got, you don't see any of those weird lines. So if we go over here, that had the weird lines, this does not. So now you're going to click on one of those colors, then go up to select same by fill color it's going to select all of those then you're going to make sure that your color palette your color window is open somewhere so just go to window and make sure color is open so for the fill color i'm going to choose no color and then for the line the stroke color you can um we're going to oops not cancel there i'm going to come up here my library is already open i'm going to click on cut contour and that's going to make that line my cut contour. Now, if you don't know how to set your cut contour, I do have another video that will be uploading soon on how to set your cut contour, um, your spot color for cut contour and pref cut contour for perforated lines. And that's all you have to do. So we're going to do it one more time. File, open. I'm going to open up that HS Ink design which is the name of our company where we sell sublimation ink, sublimation paper, pigment ink, um, templates, chip resetters, things like that, and a whole lot more in store. So check out the link in the description for that. That is shop.sillaholicsanonymous.com. You also can sign up for my classes to learn how to use Silhouette Studio on that site as well. So we're going to go here, and we have that part, and you can see now, it did not open up all wonky. We're going to click on this one, go select, same, fill color. Then we're going to go, it's already on our um, stroke. We're going to go cut contour, then click on the fill and make that no color. And once you have this set up, now you can go in and go file, save as. You're going to make that a PDF. Um, and I'm just going to put this for VW. So that way, when you see me open it on my laptop, not right now, I'm going to do a separate video when I'm at my BN20 and you will see this one open up. Unfortunately, I don't have VersaWorks set on this particular computer because I don't have it set up to my BN because it's in a totally different location. But we're going to hit save. I've already, you know, gone verify that everything, you know, does work. But you guys will get to see that when I go over to the BN20 in a separate video. You can find that particular video 
on my sister channel, Honestly Speaking. So that's our secondary channel for just crafting. Here, it is just for Silhouette Studio related tutorials. So we're just gonna hit Save as PDF, and that is now ready to go. I do have another video that I recorded where if it is a PNG or like a JPEG image and you want to set those lines and being able to trace it in Silhouette Studio. So I have that video coming as well. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss any of the new content that I will put out for those who have a Roland BN20 because I'm a part of the Roland family now with my beloved Roro 365. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment to let me know if it worked for you. Check out all the links in the description. Um, and until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.